Good morning, foodies. It's about 8.30 in the morning and it's a nice, cool and rainy day here in San Antonio and I'm off on Memorial Day. And I just wanted to say Happy Memorial Day to all of the veterans and the current enlisted uh, men and women um, in our armed forces. And I just wanted to say thank you for your service. Um, so I've been watching some videos and seeing them seeing some things about um, golden milk and I think I kind of want to try it because you know I have turmeric in my smoothies every morning but some mornings like today I'm not going to have a smoothie because um, it's kind of cool I might eat some oatmeal so I'm just trying to think of another way to um, have the turmeric and not have like a big meal type thing out of it oops sorry for the dishes in the background <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to kind of experiment and put some stuff together and see how it tastes and I'll let you guys watch and see what I come up with. Alright guys, I'm going to show you all the ingredients. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to put it together and pray that it tastes good. I'm going to use uh, some sweetened almond milk and usually I use the Trader Joe's brand but I ran out so I just went and grabbed this because Trader Joe's is 15 miles away so this is a lot closer to get. And of course some fresh turmeric root. And to sweeten it, I'm going to use some bee-free honey. And then for the spices, I'm going to use pumpkin pie spice. I watched a video on cooking with plants, and they did like a, like a chai tea spiced one. And maybe that's how you traditionally make it, I'm not sure. And that looked good, and I don't have those spices, so I thought pumpkin pie spice might be kind of good. And of course theirs was warmed. Um, and they strained theirs because they just grated the turmeric root. So I figured why not just blend it all together and then um, that way I don't have to strain any of the turmeric out. So I'm going to do probably about a cup of almond milk. And you can do half and half with water, but I want a nice rich flavor. That's probably, that's probably close to a cup I'd say. And then we're going to put in about an inch worth of turmeric root. Let me find a good piece. That piece is a little big, but it's kind of thin, so I'm going to use this piece right here. Like I said, it's kind of long, but it's not very thick, so I'm going to use that whole piece. I'm just going to wash it off real quick. Washed and ready to go. Into the cup. I think I'm going to use about a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I think there's a half a tablespoon will fit. No. I got these cute new little spoons that were cheap ones from um, Target the other day. Just need to find one that fits. And they snap together, but my husband let them all loose in my drawer. So let's see if I can find them all and put them all back together. They all fit oh, kind of fit together like this. I never did do that gadget drawer tag. My gadget drawer is pretty messed up. Just like everybody else's. Here's a teaspoon. Oh no, let's see, this is right here, just to show you, that's a half a tablespoon. That seems like a lot, so maybe I'll just do two teaspoons, which is two thirds of a tablespoon, so. I don't wanna, I wanna overpower the turmeric taste, but I don't want it to taste like spices either. Now that's a full teaspoon. You know what, I'm thinking I'm going to start with a teaspoon and then add to it if I need to. So again, this is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Pie Spice, which tastes a little bit different than regular pumpkin pie spice. Um, and I think part of it is it does have cardamom in it, so that's kind of cool, and it also has lemon peel in it, so it's a little bit different. And then we're going to whiz in a good bit of Bee Free Honey. Probably a good tablespoon or more. I'm actually, I'm actually almost out of bee free honey. I need to get some more. I'm just gonna pop the top on. And I'm gonna give it a quick whirl. Well, in the machine, but you know, you'll see me do this when I have like the bee free honey in here because it, it'll stick to the sides of the glass. And obviously, when I blend this, it's not gonna hit the top of the, the top of the cup. So. I always add the bee free honey or anything sticky last so it doesn't stick to the sides of my container. Okay. Let's give 
give us a quick whirl. Alright guys, I blended that up really well, probably for a good 30 seconds. I wanted to make sure everything was really well combined. Again, you can still strain this afterwards if you'd like. I'm actually going to warm it up in the microwave. If y'all don't want to do microwave, just warm it up in a saucepan on your stove. Let's see. Ooh, it smells very turmeric -y. I think before I, um, I don't know if you can see, probably not very well, before I put it in the microwave to heat it, which will intensify the flavors, I'm going to taste it first. Can you see me? You can see me. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to go put this in the microwave. That's really good, guys. I'm going to go put this in the microwave and warm it up. Now I'm going to be missing all that foam. All that foam action. I suppose after I warm this up, if you really wanted the... Because look, it makes like a nice thick foam on there. Like a real latte. This doesn't even really need to be warmed. You could do this on the stove top and like whisk it and you'll get that foam. Or after I heat it in the microwave, I could actually put it back in the blender cup and blend it for about 10 seconds. I don't know if I've ever shared this tip with you guys, but if you use a microwave and use it to like boil water and warm up liquids um, for drinking, if you just put it in there and set it for like two minutes and then pull it out, there's a possibility you could get like a little like hot water explosion in your face, which is bad. So. It's a tip I learned a long time ago, I don't remember where. You put in a couple of chopsticks and the bubbles build on the chopsticks instead of like bursting in the water. So it's just a safety thing that I do. So every time I heat up my water for tea or whatever in the microwave, I just stick in the chopsticks and it boils around the, the sticks. So I've never had an issue. And for this, I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time because I don't want it to boil over. Um, again, in a saucepan would probably be actually easier. This is just being lazy. So, yeah. So if you're boiling water in a microwave, it's no big deal. But when you boil something like a milk substitute or anything creamy like that, you need to do it kind of slowly. Otherwise, it could totally boil over and make a huge mess in your microwave. And I don't want to clean up a mess. <laughs> Speaking of messes, while that's microwaving, I'm going to clean up my mess. We'll be back in just a moment. If you guys have a Vitamix, you might clean it the same way, same way as my Nutribullet. I just fill it with hot soapy water and then run it for a few seconds. So this is how I clean it. I rinse it first and get all the chunks out and then just run some hot soapy water in it just to kind of give it a quick clean. Okay, guys, here it is. Still frothy. Let me, I'll show you. I'll show you the stick actually. There's a lot of froth and foam on there. Kind of see it. It stayed really foamy. It's like the color of mustard. <laughs> it's pretty. All right, let's get this set back up. Sorry for the noise every time I set you down. You're sitting on top of a pack of Trader Joe's marshmallows. So I've got my handy dandy little dragonfly mug here. That's my favorite mug. I'll pour this baby in. And then all the foam on top, if you're a foam person. Jimmy. Alright guys, we're going to get it reset up so you can actually see me take a drink. Good. Good. Okay guys. So for a nice cold morning, this is going to be pretty... Pretty tasty. You can mildly smell the turmeric, but it's pleasant. I think because of the pumpkin pie spice. And of course, feel free to put a little dash of the pumpkin pie spice across the top if you'd like as well. Make it like you just came from like a cafe or something. So let's give it a taste. Oh, and I did it for a minute and 30 seconds, 30 seconds at a time. And in between each um, session, I stirred it and then uh, felt it, see if it was hot enough. That is good. That's good, guys. Oh, this is so warming. Yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. Woohoo! I can't.
came up with a winner. All right, guys, if you are thinking of a way to incorporate turmeric and you're not a huge fan because it does have an acquired taste for sure, this is definitely something I would recommend trying. Um, in a cold smoothie, it's good. You have to kind of get used to it, and after a while, it just tastes good. But this, this is pretty tasty. So we've got a pumpkin pie spiced turmeric latte. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm pretty jazzed that I um, came up with this. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please let me know if you try it and let me know what you think. Let me know of any variations that you make and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Tiffany.